Hello there YouTube, my name is Arista Artbook and welcome to today's brand new video. In today's video, I will be doing something quite different from my usual paint drawings, which is that I will be taking old incomplete art of other artists and turn it into somewhat of a beautiful piece of art, most importantly complete it. Why do this? Because I love art and I love a challenge. Okay, here we have an incomplete drawing of Cardi B and it may have a few flaws in it. So what I'll be doing is I'll refer the original drawing and sketch my own version of Cardi B. Okay, so the basic sketch has been completed. Um, it's not quite 100% accurate to the reference pic, but it's close enough, right? Anyways, now I will be tracing this drawing onto a tracing paper and along with the carbon paper I will be tracing it back to the canvas. Let's go! Alright, so most of you might find this as a waste of time, tracing it onto a tracing paper and tracing it back onto a canvas. But I'm not comfortable with using canvas as I'm with paper, so this is how I'm gonna do. Plus, it's quite easy for me to correct errors on a paper rather than on a canvas. Also bearing in mind that this is a used canvas which has already been painted on, so I don't think it would be easy to sketch on it again. Alright, so I've completed tracing the sketch onto the canvas and let's take a look at how it has come out. You stupid! Oh my god, this was not what I was expecting. The trace is all over the place. You're a dumb man. There you have folks, this is what you get when the trace goes wrong. Thank god we have some paint to do. Hopefully, through that we can take away this horrific trace. Hopefully. So let's go. So what I'll be doing is I will be using Reeves oil paint and a little bit of Dermint oil paint and apply a white layer on Cardi B's proper face. You know, like the ladies using foundation before they put their makeup on. Alright, so I finished half of Cardi B's face but I've noticed is that the paint doesn't quite dry up. I'm starting to think that I've been using the wrong paint medium. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly scrape away all this white paint and then use acrylic paint and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, it's a rookie mistake. I should have checked it before, but guys, I'm no pro. I'm just starting up now. So let's see what happens next, shall we? Now that the white oil paint has been wiped away, I will be using a combination of all the browns that I have, from the darkest brown to the lightest brown. And in case if you are interested, I will be naming down all the colors which I use, down in the description. You can check it out if you like, or don't, it's your choice. Okay, so I know that you're supposed to color according to a specific technique, but honestly, I barely remember them. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the darker tones of the skin and then make up my way by mixing lighter tones layer upon layer. I know it doesn't make sense, but you'll see. In my opinion, 
The reason why I go for the dark zones first is that through that I can bring out all the highlights. Okay, so the face is turning out okay. Let's move on to those dark blood red lips. Again here I will be first applying the darker tones and then little by little I will be applying the lighter ones. Alright, so the face came out pretty damn good than I expected. Next I'll be doing the glasses and then the fingers and the rest. You with me? To be honest guys, I've run out of points to talk about. So, stick around and I'll talk to you at the end of the video. Hey guys, I'm back and oh my lord, doesn't she look gorgeous? Comment down below what you think about her. I must say the detailing of the fur coat wasn't as smooth and easy as I expected. It was a serious pain in the neck. But looking at it now, I guess it pulled through. Also the background may look as if it's one single color, but it's actually a combination of black, red and purple. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, share and subscribe if you haven't. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next video.